have already learnt about compliments and we know that a compliment completes the predicate so as to have a meaningful sentence. Now a compliment can either be a subject complement or an object complement. What is a subject complement? The complement of an intransitive verb is known as the subject complement as it describes the subject. The object complement is the complement of a transitive verb and it gives us more information about the direct object in a sentence. Today, we will revise our concept of complements with various examples. Kim is smart. Now, in this sentence, Kim is the subject and is smart is the predicate. Now, this predicate has the intransitive verb is. Now, if I just say Kim is, does our sentence make sense? No, our predicate is incomplete. Hence, this word smart completes the predicate and makes a meaningful sentence. So, this word is a complement. Now, this complement tells us more about the subject Kim. Hence, it is a subject complement. Now, if we have a sentence as birds fly in the sky. Now, in this sentence, birds is the subject and fly in the sky is the predicate. Now, in this predicate, we have an intransitive verb fly and do you think that this part of the sentence in the sky is a complement? Let us see. Now, if I just say birds fly, our sentence makes complete sense. So, in the sky is not required to complete the predicate. Hence, in the sky is not a complement here. It is an adverbial because it is giving us more information about the verb. Where do the birds fly? In the sky. So, in the sky here is not a complement but an adverbial. Now, what about this sentence? The teacher punished the student who bullied the new boy. So, in this sentence, we have the subject as the teacher. And what is the predicate? Punish the student who bullied the new boy. Now, in this sentence, punished is our transitive verb. And punished what or punished who? The student. So, the student is the object here. So, what do you think? This part of the sentence, who bullied the new boy, is a compliment. Now, let us read the sentence again. The teacher punished the student. So, who bullied the new boy is not required to complete the sentence. So, who bullied the new boy is not a compliment. Now, if you read the sentence carefully, you will realize that the teacher punished who? The teacher punished the student who bullied the new boy. So, in this sentence, our object is the entire part, the student who bullied the new boy. Not only this part, the student. Which student? The student who bullied the new boy. So, this entire part is our object here. He found me. Now, in this sentence, the subject is he and found me is the predicate where found is the transitive verb taking the object me. But in the sentence, he found me disturbed. What is the subject here? He and found me disturbed is the predicate. In this predicate, found is the transitive verb which takes the object me. Now, if you read this sentence carefully, you will realize that he found me disturbed is different from the earlier sentence that we read, he found me. Here, this sentence is talking about a state or a condition. So, even though he found me in the earlier example made complete sense, 
in this example he found me disturbed this part he found me is not a complete sentence and does not make complete sense so disturbed is completing the predicate here hence it is a complement and this complement is telling us more about the object me he found me what disturbed hence disturbed here is an object complement but if we would have the sentence as he found me in the library in this case he is the subject found me in the library is the predicate where found is the transitive verb which takes the object me so here do you think this part in the library is an object complement let us see he found me makes complete sense in the library is not completing the sense of the predicate in this sentence here it is just giving us more information as to where he found me he found me in the library hence this part in the library is an adverbial my sister wrote this story very well what is the subject here my sister wrote this story very well is the predicate now the predicate here has a transitive verb wrote wrote what this story so this story is the direct object so if i say my sister wrote this story the sentence makes complete sense so do you think very well is a complement no very well hence is not a complement because it is not required to complete the predicate it is just giving us extra information hence it is an adverbial my coach made me run around the park what is the subject here my coach made me run around the park is the predicate here now this predicate has the transitive verb made it has an object me so run around the park is actually completing the meaning of the predicate the coach made me what run around the park so this entire part run around the park is the complement here and what kind of complement it is telling us more about the object me he made me run around the park hence it is an object complement but if the sentence would have been my coach made me captain last week now in this sentence my coach is the subject made me captain last week is the predicate and this predicate has the transitive verb made it has the object me but do you think this entire part captain last week is the object complement let us read the sentence again my coach made me what captain so actually just this word captain is completing the meaning of the predicate here so only captain is the object complement here why it is an object complement because it is telling us more about the object my coach made me what captain so this part last week is not a part of the complement but it is an adverbial because it is just giving us extra information as to when coach made me captain last week hence last week is not a complement but an adverbial my friend gifted me an easel on my birthday what is the subject here my friend so gifted me an easel on my birthday is the predicate now in this predicate we have the transitive verb gifted my friend gifted what an easel so an easel is the direct object so my friend gifted an easel to whom me so me here is the indirect object 
so my friend gifted me an easel on my birthday so do you think this part on my birthday is a compliment no it is not a compliment because if we would have just said my friend gifted me an easel the sentence would still be complete hence this part on my birthday is not a compliment but an adverbial as it is just giving us some extra information as to when my friend gifted me an easel now that we have looked at so many examples about compliments let us do this exercise identify the sentence with a compliment we have two sentences given to us these color pencils are expensive i really like these color pencils let us take the second sentence first i really like these color pencils what is the subject here i so our predicate is really like these color pencils what is the verb in the predicate like so like what these color pencils so these color pencils is the object here so do you think really is the complement is it completing the predicate i could have just said i like these color pencils the sentence would still make sense hence really is not a complement but an adverb in this sentence so this sentence has no compliment let us come to the first sentence now these color pencils are expensive so in this sentence what is the subject these color pencils so our predicate is are expensive now if we would have just said these color pencils are then the sentence would not make complete sense so the predicate would have been incomplete in such a case expensive completes the meaning of the predicate so it completes the meaning of the intransitive verb are hence expensive is the complement here so this sentence is the sentence which has a complement identify the complement if any in the given sentence he planted some flowers in the garden so now in this sentence what is the subject he so our predicate is planted some flowers in the garden what is the verb in the predicate here planted so we have a transitive verb planted because planted what some flowers so our object here is some flowers so he planted some flowers now do you think in the garden is a compliment let us see if i would just say he planted some flowers the sentence would still make complete sense hence in the garden is not a compliment but an adverbial it is just giving us some extra information as to where he planted some flowers hence this sentence has no compliment So what did we learn today? Today we have taken a few examples and identified complements and objects or adverbials in these examples. I hope that complements are absolutely clear to you now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSE. CBSC IB Cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches 
and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.